Hello traders, Gary Wagler here just before 11 o'clock in Honolulu, 5 o'clock in New York on Tuesday, the third day of June 2014. And this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. We have gold and silver up, up nominally, but up nonetheless, which is a very, very pleasant surprise for today. It's been quite a while since we've seen this market move up. Trading at 1244.82 puts it up about a dollar and a half on the day. Now the low is 1239.40 and remember 39 is that important number. That was one of the numbers that we were looking at. The high on the day 1248. Silver is trading up roughly a nickel. More on silver towards the end of the show. We're looking at a 60 minute chart and what I am seeing in this chart is after the dramatic sell-off that we've witnessed we have a series of lows that we can really illustrate as some sort of a floor at least temporarily within the gold market itself you can see standard candlestick chart very very short term it's only a 60 minute chart but what we can see in this chart is at least for the time being some sort of a base or a floor being formed within the market itself because when we look at the short-term chart we can see here is we we still continue to fall a little rise we continue to fall but as of the beginning of this month of course what we've seen is is really somewhat of a floor in this market whether or not that's going to hold is going to be determined but we are getting close to some of the numbers we're looking at and of course, once we compress this chart to allow for more time, we can really visually see what we were talking about. We're, we had a base that was roughly uh, support level at around 1275, roughly in that area. We had a couple of lows that came in, but in each occasion it held. Then the market really trended higher, and really the, the floor that we had at that point was just below, call it 1290, 1285. You can see that that's these series of lows here. Obviously, that all changed when we had the dramatic drop. We can see that this is the first of the month here. And since then, we're back to really forming somewhat of a sideways market, which means it could be, in fact, forming a base. But once we start looking at any of the longer term charts, this is still an interim or short term chart, 360 minute. We can see that we are still in a very, very iffy or nebulous area at best because my sense right now is that once we broke through the 61% level, and that was uh, 1262, pretty critical area, the next real level of support on a technical basis has got to be about 1232. First of all, it's a Fibonacci based number. This last rally, 76% retracement. First thing that gives us a clue that this could be an important point. The second thing that gives us a clue is the fact that when we looked at this market coming up off of these lows, the beginning of this rally, it did it in a series of stair steps, quite obviously. So we had a, a rise, retracement, a rise, retracement, rise, retracement. Now, as we can see right in here, we had a number of occasions where it came back down and tested that specific area before bouncing and then moving up. That's right in here. So this, to me, is really the number we want to look at. My sense is markets trading 1244. We probably still have some more drift to the downside. And until the market really comes to this area, 32, tests the area, and we can see if this becomes a floor or if it continues to drop, that's going to give us a lot of information to act on because if we find some kind of a floor in this area, it's a good buy. If the market kind of breaks through, that's going to be a signal to sell this market because if it does break through, my sense is that it's going to head back towards these lows at around 1181. So we're roughly about, what, $10 away from that point in which we can determine is the market going to find some sort of support here or simply run through it. And as I said, if it runs through it, my sense, my sense is that what we'll witness is a move to retest that double bottom that we have. So we've gone ahead and converted that chart into a nine-day chart so we can have a much broader historical perspective. And on this study, I have two Fib retracements, one very, very long term, starting really middle of 05, markets trading at about 400 an ounce, up to the record top. And then the second one is the one that we have had, which is starting just under 700, moving up to that same spot. Interestingly enough, we get a very, very strong harmonics 
just below this double bottom. In other words, when we look at the entire move from 05 up, we get a 50% retracement, which comes in at 1156. And then when we look at the shorter term of the two, still a fairly long term Feb retracement, we get 1157. And that's a 61% retracement. My sense is that if we break through this particular number, meaning our, we're currently at 44, if we break through 32, we're probably going to go and test these numbers. And at the same time, if we test these numbers, this is really the area I believe we could see some very, very strong potential support in the market. And that would be a real good indication that we have pretty much weathered the storm in terms of downside. I personally don't think we're going to see silver go, excuse me, gold go back to $1,000. That would be a 61% retracement of the largest of these two moves. And personally, at this point, with this double bottom in play, my sense is that it would have to break through that. And I personally think that there should be really good support in that area. So what about silver? We're looking at a daily chart. I've compressed it to the max that I can do on this particular chart. And we want to look at really the overall real support in the market where that's going to fall in when we look at this in terms of a, a historical perspective of course now when i do that we have this entire band right in here this range let's go ahead and put a rectangle box in so we can kind of extend it forward and when we look at the particular range we've got these highs up here which right now are matching to this band of support right in here if in fact we have entered into this area, you can see that we've had a trading, granted not since 2010, but has traded in this range with these lows, as I said, roughly at around $18 per ounce, the low 18s were at 1878. If we go much past that, we've got this band that could take us, I believe we'll find support somewhere around the low $18 per ounce area, but we'll have to see how that unfolds. But we are in this area right now where we're back towards these lows and each time we've gotten into these lows, the market has found some resilience, has bounced off of that. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow on Wednesday for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.